Charles Babbage was an English mathematician and inventor who served as Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at Cambridge from 1828 to 1839. He became the most important figure in the prehistory of computers. Babbage noted that astronomical and other mathematical tables of the period were riddled with errors because all the calculations had to be done by hand. This gave him the idea of building a machine that would do the tedious work of computation more accurately, faster and without ever getting tired. Born at Totnes, Devonshire, Babbage entered Trinity College, Cambridge in 1811 but graduated from Peterhouse College in 1814. Two years later he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. The idea of building a calculating machine first occurred to him in 1812. In 1822 Babbage wrote a letter to one of the top British scientists of the day, Humphrey Davy, in which he talked about the design of an automatic calculator. Shortly after he was given a grant by the British government to build this device an elaborate symphony of rods and interlocking gear teeth, which Babbage called the Difference Engine. Construction started, but never finished. Despite heroic efforts to construct a working model, the critical tolerances were beyond what engineers could provide in the first half of the 18th century, though the gear-making skills learned gave Britain an edge in precision machinery for several decades and even contributed to the qualitative superiority of the British Navy in World War I. The government had spent £17,000 and Babbage £6,000 of his own money on the project, when Babbage set his sights on something even more ambitious. He grasped that the basic mechanisms of the difference engine could be generalised to an all-purpose calculating machine programmable by a punch card mechanism like that of the Jacquard loom. This vastly more powerful machine was called the analytical engine and would have been the world's first true computer, but it never got off the ground. He was ill-judged enough, wrote the secretary of the Royal Astronomical Society, to press the consideration of this new machine upon the members of government, who were already sick of the old one. Prime Minister Robert Peel was less than enthusiastic. I would like a little previous consideration before I move in a thin house of country gentlemen, a large vote for the creation of a wooden man to calculate tables from the formula x squared plus x plus 41. Ada Lovelace, daughter of the poet Lord Byron and herself a talented mathematician, corresponded with Babbage during his development of the analytical engine. She is credited with developing an algorithm that would enable the engine to calculate a sequence of Bernoulli numbers, and she's also sometimes regarded as the world's first computer programmer. Of the analytical engine, she wrote, we may say most aptly, that the analytical engine weaves algebraical patterns just as the jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves. The government's eventual withdrawal of support for his schemes left Babbage a disappointed and embittered man. However, his ideas survived and proved to be the forerunner of modern computers. Part of his uncompleted mechanisms are on display in the London Science Museum. In 1991, working from Babbage's original plans, a difference engine was completed and functioned perfectly. Babbage played a part, along with John Herschel and George Peacock, in introducing the Leibnizian D notation for calculus into British mathematical use, in place of the less flexible dot notation devised by Isaac Newton. Among Babbage's many less famous accomplishments was his cracking of the Vigenera cipher, a discovery that helped English military campaigns but wasn't published for several years, by which time the credit had gone instead 
to Friedrich Kosicki, who broke the code some years after Babbage. Babbage died in 1871, aged 79, at the address in London, where he'd lived for 40 years. Thanks for watching. Please check out our many other videos, including those of other famous mathematicians. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.